the station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. A new company in Rockville working to develop a cure for HIV. We're going to speak with their CEO about what they plan to do. In health news, we're digging deeper in defining a cure for HIV. So we have Jeff Galvin here, who is the CEO of gene cell therapy company American Gene Technologies, here to tell us about a new company to better focus on a cure for HIV. Thank you for joining us here in the studio. My pleasure. All right, so Jeff, let's start with uh, explaining what AGT is and uh, what the company does. Well, I think you said it pretty well. We're a gene and cell therapy company, which is a new drug development modality that has incredible power to cure diseases instead of just treating them. And so I founded that company 15 years ago to see if we could find something that would, you know, improve the lives of as many people as possible with this new technique. Yeah, and speaking of finding cures for, you know, different diseases, HIV, you're focusing in on that. And tell us about Adimmune. So Adimmune is the new company, correct? That's right. So what, what's been happening is that AGT was developing a whole bunch of different drugs, but one got in the lead. Uh, we got really promising data in a phase one clinical trial for an HIV cure. So it, we believe it's possible that we could do a one and done cell therapy that would allow people to throw away their antiretroviral meds and never think about HIV again. They can't uh, transmit it to anybody else, they can't get AIDS, and they can't even recontract it. Now, we're not there yet, but the data from the phase one gives us a lot of optimism or even confidence that we can get there. So what we've decided to do is spin out a separate company called Adimmune, and right here in Rockville, Maryland, and uh, what that will focus on is exclusively pushing this in towards commercialization. So we're going to use that company to bring in new funding and we're going to focus all, f uh, all of the 50 employees that will initially be there at the company on one thing, an HIV cure. And we're going to roll into a phase two. We've already done an analytic treatment interruption where we saw a tremendous amount of viral suppression mm -hmm. from modified cells that we just took right out of the patient's uh, bodies, modified them, put them back in, and they were able to fight HIV um, in a way that has never been seen before. So with these developments, are you saying you think you can cure HIV? Yeah, but the operative word there is think, okay? We got to prove it still. This will not be a drug for several years, and that's the best case. But I think everybody has a great reason for hope and even optimism that HIV may be in the rearview mirror in the not too distant future. Wow, that is some uh, good information there. Do you see any roadblocks quickly? They're wrapping me up, but I just want to know that. No, um, I think it's just a matter of, you know, putting one foot in front of the other. You know, the, the reason I, I don't say we've got it is because things can go wrong. You know, biotech, mm -hmm. uh, you know, doesn't always work out exactly as you expect it to, and there's a lot of, lot of regulation. So mm -hmm. we've got a lot of things to do, but, you know, the trajectory is great. All right. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for your work, and thank you for joining us here in the studio. If you want more information, you can find that on our website at dcnewsnow.com.